It's a plant. It's a fungus. No, it's actually lichen. I have to admit, I didn't really know much about lichen until I was told I would get to visit the inland temperate rainforest in Revelstoke. And while doing my research, I found out that there are just about 300 species of lichens found in Mount Revelstoke National Park. I also learned that they're still discovering new ones. Some scientists went in there and they found 11 new species. And that these new discoveries are actually a big reason why parts of the rainforest were protected a few years ago. Okay, but let's rewind a little bit. I still don't really know what lichens are. So to sort that out, it's time for TWN's first ever lichen puppet show. Most of them is actually made up of fungus and every single lichen species is a different fungal species. Then you've got your little algae, which are these tiny little green balls. These little algae live within the fungus. Fungus is providing water and it's providing some protection and structure for the organism and the algae can photosynthesize. So every once in a while you come across a lichen that isn't green and it's more brown or gray and that's because it's still a fungus but this time it's living with a cyanobacteria. Okay, so now that we know what they are, why are they important? I mean, parts of an entire old growth forest were protected mainly for these small organisms. Well, for one, they provide food for a lot of animals. We have mountain caribou that live around here that are an endangered species. And in the wintertime, they almost only eat lichens. They also provide shelter. Look at that, an entire bird's nest made from lichen. And they protect trees from extreme elements. Oh, and another fun fact I learned about lichen, they only grow in areas where there's fresh air. So the next time you find yourself in a forest filled with lichen, stop for a moment, <sighs> take a deep breath, and appreciate these important and probably underrated organisms all around you.